Hello, and this is Crazo. I'll be taking uh, the test. Not really sure what it means. Uh, not really sure what this is. Uh, I'm just making sure everything's working. All right, time to begin. Well, this looks nice. Hello, pertinent thing. We will be asking you a series of questions. You must answer them honestly. As I say when I answer, I don't mean answer them how you would like them to be answered. Answer them with truth and even the tone of face. We all want to be a good person. And do we all want to be a good person? We really want to admit our we really want to admit our faults and mistakes. Well, you can't learn if you don't admit your mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, destiny of the world? Or would you rather, uh, I don't know, lying and hiding? What is going on here, by the way? This is a mess. You should really clean up before you invite guests. Well, the uh, theory, just answer along to these questions. Difficulty is self-analyzing. Got it. We'll see as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your future here. We'll tell you things. That, well, I'll try my best. As long as you answer properly uh, and you're... Hard I get it. Be honest. I understand. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personal test. Personality test. This is simply nature. This is you. This is your own mind. I don't know. Does my mind really believe that there's like a mess here? I'll tell you to answer many questions. You often wonder things like, what depend on the situation, create your own circumstances, blah, blah, blah. You realize what your mind will develop. So got it. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. Uh, okay. Here we go. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated fairly? I believe so. Do you believe everyone should always be treated equally? Yes. Have you ever invented anything? I don't believe I've ever invented anything. Do you believe that you're worthy of somebody's time investment? Probably not. I know that's a bad thing because I'm doing YouTube and that's the whole thing, but I'm probably not worth most people's time. Will you consider yourself to be open-minded? I believe I am, yeah. Would you say that you're something you sometimes have to oh definitely have trust issues would you be all right living alone forever like yes I'd go insane but I uh, do you always give someone the benefit of doubt I try to give everyone the benefit of doubt if it's the first time you did something I try to give you the benefit of the doubt do you dislike the sound of your own voice uh, yep do you like the color blue nope black's my favorite color so I like black more than blue if you found money in the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? If I knew who it belonged to, I would try to give their money back to them. I would go up to them and try to go, hey, you dropped this. If I knew who it belonged to. Are you sure you want to seek answer answers you seek? Are you sure you want the answers you seek? Yes, I'm sure I want the answers I seek. Are you afraid of spiders? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not, like, I don't have a phobia of them, but small little things that can bite you and kill you. If you knew you would do it more unscathed, would you jump into more play lava? If I knew I would more unscathed, which I'm assuming would mean I would not be injured at all, yes. Do you consider yourself to be fat? I make fun of it, but I'm a lot skinnier now than I was uh, earlier in my life, so no. Right now, I do not consider myself. I don't consider myself in shape, but I don't consider myself fat. Would you say that you have a lot of charisma? Nope. I'm kind of a vacuum. Have you ever wished you would be temporarily frozen? No, I've been cold. I do not want to be frozen. This is very interesting. That, that's good. That's one of us. Did you realize... Uh, no, but I don't actually pay attention to what I I can barely read as it is. So I'm finding hitting means. 
Does that make you uncomfortable? Not really. I have my old idea of things like that. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles and clues? I would say no. I, I mean, I played several puzzle games on this channel and I've been not very good at them. So I'm gonna say no. Are you wondering what other hidden messages are within these questions? Not really, not at the moment, no. Have you been entirely honest with your answer so far? I believe so, yes. Are you afraid of consequences in answering honestly? Dishonestly? Not really. And what are you going to do? Come in and stab me in the back? Were you aware that there could be potential? Not, no? I mean, well, like I say, I see the mess in the room, but what are you going to do? Come into my room and stab me in the back? Not happening. Are you wondering how these questions begin to take a strange turn? Are they taking a strange turn? These seem like still basic questions. Would you consider yourself captured? Cap uh, no. Captivated? Oh, captivated. I can read. I promise you I can read. Uh, I kind of want to see what other sentence. Interest. Very interesting. Is it? Would you consider yourself brave? Depends on who's around me. I'm one of those, if I like go to Halloween Horror Nights with a group of people, I will be stone-faced and calm, but if I go by myself, it would be... Uh, so I would consider it a 50-50. I'm going to say yes. Do you view somebody uh, with above average? If we go by IQ test, possibly. Have you been looking for hidden messages? No. Why would I be looking for hidden messages? This help rat here is more than I... No. I'm kind of going with the floor. Have you been wondering how long this test will take or how many questions to? No, I'm just going to keep going until it ends. Do you consider yourself a patient person? No. There's going to be people that's going to disagree with me that know me. Say, I'm very patient. No, I'm not. I just hold my tongue. Do most humans annoy you? Yes. Do you prefer animals to people? I'm thinking, I'm going to say no. I do enjoy animals, but they annoy me as much as people do. Do you believe in magic? I'm going to say no, because I believe everything that we've ever considered to be magic has just been technology that we didn't understand. Do you believe in God or exist of some high empire? I believe there's possibly one, but I don't let that determine my life. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna say yeah. Do you fear death? Now you die, you die. And when it's your time, you just gotta accept it and take your time. Are you attracted to someone who you're currently, who you're not currently in a relationship with? Well, I'm not in current in a relationship with anyone, so I would say anyone I'm attracted. I probably am attracted to. Well, let's see. Yeah. It's probably at least someone I'm attracted to. Did you answer the last question 100% honestly? Yes. Are you alone? Well, no, there's other people in the house, so no, I'm not alone. If I told you the utmost certainty that there's somebody watching you, would you believe me? Well, I'm, I'm streaming and it says there's one person in chat, so I'm gonna say, yes, I would believe you. If you're wondering who I am, not really. I wonder who, what's going on in the room. Nope. Do you feel like it? Well, I'm probably undiagnosed paranoia, and I feel like I'm being watched all the time. Like, I see, I will see vehicles that look the same. A black vehicle will drive by, I'll see it, and I will assume that it's the same person. So, have you ever considered quitting the session early? Nope. Do you drink water every day? Yes, I believe I drink water every day. Do you eat at least once per day every day? Yes, I usually eat more than once per day. Do you realize these are high probably that you missed a uh, class of hidden? Oh yeah, there's a death. Do you? Oh yeah, there's a huge high. Uh, this is guaranteed. Are you wondering what they are? No. Would it bother you never figuring out what finding them for yourself? Nope. I'm not looking for them currently. Is your favorite number seven? No, my favorite number is 13. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we ever do. Do you agree? Yeah. Except I don't believe 
that we do what you think. Oranges cannot be compared to apples, dude. Yes, oranges cannot, you cannot compare two different situations together. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? No. I don't believe I knew that. No. I don't think I knew that. Everyone deserves a second chance. You agree? Yes, everyone deserves a second chance. After that, can you do anything you put your mind to? We can all do anything we put our mind to. If we actually put our mind to it, we can, everyone can do whatever is more important than freedom. Obedience is no. Underwater adventure sounds like fun. Well, being that I am uh, not good with water, I'm going to say no. Underwater is not a good time. Uh, the fun time for you? No. Do you realize the first letter of the previous? So I love you. Aww, isn't that sweet? But no, I haven't been paying attention to any of that. Do you wish to be loved? Don't we all? Have you ever felt hated? Yes. Do you have any addictions? No. At least nothing that I would think is, do you dislike the color pink? No, I don't really dislike the colors. <coughs> Does the color gray seem depressing? No. Colors don't give me emotional things, I don't think. Yeah, no. Do you enjoy loud music? And eh, not really. Do you like to dance? No. Fit. Do you consider yourself normal? No. I'm not stupid. I know better. Do you love your parents? Yes. Have you ever been lied to? Oh, well, 100%. Do you get angry often? I have an anger issue, so yes. Do you hold grudges? No, I don't think I've ever actually hold a grudge. So I'm going to say no. Have you ever forgiven someone? Yes. Have you ever done something that you knew you shouldn't have done, but did it anyway? Yes. Have you ever lied? No one can answer this question, no. Have you ever cheated on a test? Mm. No, I do not think I've ever cheated on a test. No. Well, that's reassuring. Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Yes. Trees tend to not to have, uh, I mean, the beautiful trees like Christmas trees and stuff where we kind of uh, put the beauty on it. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? Not really. Do you believe you have psychic powers? No. I wish I had psychic powers, but I don't believe I have. Have you ever seen a ghost? No, I don't think I've ever seen, at least I've never seen a ghost in my uh, actual mind. Do you dream often? I want to say yes. Have you ever, do you have nightmares often? No, I do have nightmares, it's not often. Have you ever said, I don't believe so. If I had, I didn't know I was having an anxiety attack. Do you suffer from depression? Nope. Do you have excuse off, do you exercise often and stay active? Nah, not as much as I would like. I'm, I'm not right active, but I'm gonna say no to this. Because it's often, I will not, I'm not going to say often. Is there a specific type of food that you despise? Yes, there's two. I can't stand the smell of peanut butter and I don't like green bees and peas. Will you consider yourself emotionally wounded? Not to the best of my knowledge. That, that seems like a question somebody else would do. I guess I don't consider myself. Have you ever felt betrayed? Yes, I've been betrayed before. Did you ever feel lost in life? Mom. Yes, I'm going to say I did feel lost in life once. You said you're a natural leader? No, I'm more of a uh, behind the scene guy. If you could push a button to destroy the world, would you push it? No. I don't know what world it would be, but I would not destroy it. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? Well, do I sometimes? Yeah, I think we all dream of being a hero at some point. Have you ever been bullied? Yes. Have you ever bullied somebody else? I'm pretty sure I uh, have. Would you consider yourself uh, to be a dreamer? Nope. Did you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? A oh, hundred percent I've hurt people's feelings unintentionally. There's no kidding in there. Did you find space fascinating? Yes. Would you ever consider yourself to be an artist? 
Would you not, as I currently am, no. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? No. I'm very bad at communicating with people. So there's a good chance if you're my friend, you call me, I'll answer that phone call, but there's a very low chance that I'm gonna call you. So I'm gonna say no. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Oh, 100%. Have you ever fantasized being a super villain or before we could sort of No, I don't think I've ever fantasized about it. Do you believe in perfection? Nope. Have you ever stolen from someone? I'm gonna say I probably have taken the, a pencil or a pen or some eraser from school at one point that was somebody else's, and I probably did intentionally. So I'm gonna say yes. Would you ever kill someone under? Yes. Killing it is. Would you have one day to live? Would you tell anyone? Nah. Have you ever entered your? Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? No, because I don't know. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? No, I do not trust you. Do you know who I am? No. Well, I know who you are. Well, I'm big and famous, and uh, if I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? If you appeared behind you right now, probably not. If I told you I was behind you this entire time, would you be scared? No, not really. Of course not. That would be silly, wouldn't it? Would you consider yourself to be... Uh, I'm emotionally da- uh, not damaged. I'm emotionally, uh, understanding of my own emotions, uh, so... I wouldn't understand other people. Would you consider yourself a bad dick? I would say so, but... Have you ever been yes? Are you prone to headaches and migraines? Nope. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Yes. I have a thing of looking for things on the ground. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Yep. Would you ever shave your head? Would you ever shave your head? Yes, I would. Are uh, you attracted to muscular bodies? Yeah. Do you ever dance when no one's looking? Yep. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Yep. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? No, I remember the bad parts of my childhood very well, like when I've done terrible things to people as a child, but not much else to do. Would you rob a bank if you get away with it? Oh, 100%. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? Yes. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? Yes. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? Yes. Do you enjoy scary movies and books? Yep. Do you enjoy comic TV shows and movies? Yep. Do you like being a center in Santa? Not really. Do you feel like something's always watching you? Yes, I. Well, we've already went over that I have a paranoia thing. Have you ever wondered if it would be like to go to space? Yep. Have you ever had an out of out of body experience? Hmm. No. No, I don't think I've ever had one. Have you ever punched a nun? No, but now I want to. Would you like a dog better than cats? Do you like dogs? No. I like them about the same. Do you prefer reading more than you prefer watching movies? No, I prefer watching more. Are you still wondering why? Not really. I, I just You want to know if I punched a nun? It's a simple question. I'm sure there's people that answer yes to this question. Do you get Starbucks, uh, starstruck? Uh, I'm gonna say no. I, I have met, because I used to work at Universal Studios, SeaWorld. When I worked at Universal, they had like TNA wrestling going on there, so I've met like Jeff Hardy, Mr. Anderson, and people like that. So I don't think I've ever been starstruck, so I'm gonna say no. Do you hate going to big parties and social things? Yes. Is your favorite part of your birthday is receiving presents? No. My favorite part is that, uh, all. No, I usually go out. Seriously though, have you ever punched a nun? Really like bad, bad. No, I'm not punching none. Did you laugh a little? Did you say what the fuck in your mind? Leave it out loud. No. No. Are you now eager to somehow get the upper? Yes. 
there's a hell do you think you oh I'm sure I have a little spot already made out for me. I have a terrible human being. Do you ever enjoy fancy? Yes. Do you? Ma oh, sure. That's, I'm gonna say yes to that. I I don't know if it's frequency. Have you ever wanted? To yeah, that, that that is a good question. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? Nah. Is your mouth dry? Not at the moment. Does. Uh, the fanny make you uncomfortable? Not really. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as the Lost of Monster and Bigfoot? Ah, oh. I'm gonna say yes. I <coughs> excuse me. It's not that I believe that like Lost of Bigfoot exists, but I believe there's creatures out there that we do not know about. We have not discovered. We do not know about a lot of them. I don't think are real, just because. They just uh, like Bigfoot and Loch Ness. I don't think we're ever gonna find proof because so many people make fake stories about them. But I do believe there's creatures out there that we do not know about. So I'm gonna say yes. Are you poor with money management? Not really. Choose one of these numbers. Seven with low sit. Okay. Choose one of these colors you feel. Choose one of these words you. I'm a little bit. S I'm still recovering from being sick, so I'm going to say that one. Choose one of these words if you. Um, num, 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 blessed. Choose one of these words. Wait a moment. Um. I'm going to go with luck. Do you enjoy solving mathematical problems? I don't deserve solving any puzzle, so no. Do you speak more than one language? No, I barely speak one language. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? No, I've been to other states. Well, I may have been in Canada, because I used to live in Minnesota. So I might have, but I don't believe so, so I'm going to say no. Do you enjoy coffee? No, I, I don't like the taste of coffee. Do you believe in demons? Uh, um, I'm going to say yes. Not so much the demons and angels. I, I have a belief that there's other things out there. You're afraid of sharks? I'm going to say yes. I know they don't tend to attack people. How often? Nope, I shower way more than I bathe. Nope. They do not give me uh, headaches. Do you see shadows moving in your room a few minutes ago? Nope. That's fortunate. Thank you. Have you ever heard your name being called even when no one is uh, calling it? No. I've heard my name being called when people have been calling other because I have a very common name. But not when uh, no one's been calling. Do you think your home often go missing and reappear? Not really. <coughs> At least not that I know about. Have you heard footsteps around you when you're alone? Yes, but I'm paranoid. Have you ever heard random knocking noises around you? Yes, there was one time I heard the door knock when... Do you often look at the same time of the clock every... No. Have you ever felt like your feet being grabbed at night? Nope. Do you have any pets? Yep. Is your favorite color green? Nope, I think we already established it's black. Are you attracted to a family member? Nope. Have you won the lottery? Would you share with? Yes, there's people I would share the winnings with. If you could be a director of your own, a dictator of your No, that responsibility. I don't like being a leader. I would rather be like a advisor than a leader. Do you ever wonder if it would be like to be in prison? Yes. Who hasn't? Do you like fishing? Eh, it's okay. I've gone fishing. It's not my favorite pastime, so I'm going to say no. I wouldn't choose to do it. Hunting? No, that's fine. Do you like camping? Yes. Do you like guns? Yes. Are you getting tired of answering questions? Not really. Do you consider yourself a bit... Oh, <laughs> that, that, that. We'll talk about that later in private, but yes. Eyes are the winners of the soul. Do you agree? 
You can tell a lot from how people's eyes, so I'm going to say yes. Do you always keep your promise? No, I don't think anyone's always kept their promises. I try to keep all my promises, but no, I cannot keep, I failed to keep promises. Would you ever completely trust someone who lied to you? I don't completely trust anyone, so no. Are you sure? Are you an only child? No, nope, I have siblings. Have you ever enjoyed being drunk? No, I, I'm a bad drunk. I get violent and so I don't drink that much anymore, so I'm gonna say no. Do you like tattoos? Yep. Do you enjoy uh, being high in any form? No, I'm, I've gotten to the point at this point in my life where I enjoy having full autonomy and control of my body and being high or being drunk or any of that stuff gives you a chance of you doing something that you didn't want to do so you had you lost control and I don't like not having control so I'm gonna say no do you believe you have a soul um yes believe do you cry did you cry this week no not this week I have cried in the past but not this week are you upset with somebody right now not to the best of my knowledge is it someone you're not being completely honest with daily probably do you understand how this works yet? Nope. If you answer the question twice, the truth may change. It may not just be answering the question. It's about the time you spent answering them and combining with... Nice. It's about many different variations. You never... I guess I understand. Are you wondering if the session's coming again soon based on the previous question? Yes. If I told you that this entire was planted here for you, simply for you to learn something about yourself. Uh, no, I'm not that important. Are you afraid of being abandoned? No, I expect it to happen. Are you afraid of dying alone? Don't we all die alone? Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? Yes, but I'm paranoid, so that's not a fair thing. Are you always on guard, wanting to fend off? Yeah, I have, I have knives hidden all over my house, just in case, in different rooms. So yeah, I'm gonna say yes. Do you feel like I know you yet? Uh, no. Have you heard any strange noises? Well, that's a good question. Well, I have yet the headphones on with your music going on, so I'm gonna say no. I think we had enough information about you. Would you rather, would rather you skipped questions, answered questions solidly? This only took a load of time to us. Cackling. Oh wow, it's, it's already done. Nice. Analyzing you very carefully. Don't do that. Judging you. Well, we all judge me. I'm the best. Based on, I conclude, people don't understand you completely, do they? You are a lot more complicated than people think you are. They don't give you enough credit because they don't understand what you are. I, I don't know. Possibly. You may not always like everything about yourself. You may even give yourself way too hard of a time. But trust me, you got some natural talent that will take you very far in life. I find that you embrace this fact. The only way you are going to fail is you let the doubts of others pull you down. The only way you're going to fail is if you start believing that others may think of you. If the one thing is truly remarkable and matter of fact, I get the sense that you don't even realize or understand how special you can be, but ultimately your path is entirely up to you. There's a strong possibility you're going to let all that slip away just as easy as you become a friend, but the result is you, yours for the taking, not anyone else's. No, not everyone has that luxury, aww, however you do, aww, you think I'm special. So my advice to you is to listen to your gut, go out there and get a lot, get the life you want to have, do not live your days in regret, do not let it be too late and believe in you. I just hope that you start believing in yourself and seeking your self worth, whether your dreams are, whether your goals are in life, doubt, double them, that is the minimum of what you're capable of. Please don't squander your opportunities and for the love of life don't settle, thank you. The secret word is blessing. Remember that word. This will come in handy. Oh, wow. They think I'm special. Take the secret word as I in the end session. Leave it a comment for us. This will be selected some of our basic questions, including future projects. 
don't be afraid the opportunity for you to be part of history to be part of something greater make sure you take note of your secret word if you do not wish to be part of the upcoming project simply leave your secret word out of your comment and we will select we will not select your name thank you i'm pretty sure the project's are already over being that what this is the five games ed You find the test in the test chamber stream. If you enjoy this installment, you can also find the journey series, uh, and the visor series, which could encourage uh, everyone who tries. So half the test be anything. Final results. I gotta figure out what order they all have to be in. So what? Well, that was a fun game. I mean, I've been told I've had the talent all my life, so I guess there is a self-doubt in myself. But that was the test. I'll be playing the second game because I got the whole Caboodle series together next time. Thank you for watching. If you like, like, and subscribe. If you didn't like, like, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day out there. Bye-bye. <laughs>